I'm not planning on working on it right this moment in terms of uh, what I'm working on now. So I'm more focused on this stuff, doing the recording for YouTube and also the uh, uh, addition void. But once maybe once we get to the hiatus, um, enemy attack power doubles down. Uh, I'll have more time to work on stuff and I might work on it then. Oh crap. And I, I knew that was going to blow up my face, I just did it anyway. So I guess this isn't a good idea, but whatever. Got a bunch of health still, so it's not that big a deal. But anyway, so yeah, um, I have poison crystal. So something I'm looking into doing, trying to convert the scripts over to work, in, uh, to JavaScript for work. Um, which is going to be interesting. Because the engine is completely not documented. It's not really even the way people have made the made scripts for them is by just taking stuff that's existing and modifying it until they got it to work the way they wanted to. So it's gonna be interesting to see if uh, can do this. Plus, I mean, the engine's been pretty much well. I don't know if it's been changed. It's been rewritten in JavaScript, but I don't know if they changed anything overall, so there may also be some things with that. But it's going to be interesting in either way you look at it to see if I can do this. Because a lot of these scripts, I'm willing to bet the authors of them are no longer active at all. Kind of like me once XP kind of... Um, once MV came out. MV really... MV, uh, VX. Really kind of just kneecapped the whole RPG Maker area of whatever you want to call it uh, community because it was so crappy um, sure Ace kind of fixed some of that stuff but I mean it just really decimated it and um, I think a lot of scripters at that point that had been working pretty diligently up to that point stopped what was that oh I guess the thing ran out there it ran to like an invisible wall or something I think the, the trap just ran out, though. Come on. Smash into the ground. Friggin' pumpkin. God, so many traps in here. Three chests, two traps so far. So the only way that these things are going to ever be seeing the light of day in JavaScript is if somebody remakes them in JavaScript, so... Instead of asking somebody to do it, I might as well just do it myself. But yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Also started uh, learning um, AngularJS recently. It's really a lot like Salesforce, so it's crazy to pick it up. Yeah, so the game was... Um, going to be, basically I was going to try and make it a game that, um, you know, it's not like a, a typical RPG maker game where you, you're thrust into this thing from the beginning. It's going to be more like actual RPG games normally are, which is you're just doing whatever at the beginning, stuff happens, and you end up in this kind of hero role as part of the story. How many spaces do I have left? Might need to start curtailing all the crap I'm picking up. I also got five left. Granted, that's just five. It's not that much, but... It's more than I thought I had. I thought I was down to maybe two. So I don't have to do so much, um... Oh, wow. Silver photo stand. That might be needed for an, uh, for an uh, thing. I think I remember seeing that somewhere for a fusion. Maybe not, though. I don't know. It's definitely a treasure.
Where did that third guy come from? Must have been lower in the, the floor, in this room. I kind of brought him up or something. From down there. Those guys really aren't so annoying compared to the Stonehead guys. Oh wow, there's three of them. That's a broken ring. First time I saw, I've seen, I guess I've seen them drop it before. Just not as often as the white ones. Well, that's everything. Some of this floor would be a little bit larger, but. Off to the teleporter. Oh, crap. I was like, hey, how come I can't move anymore? It's like, oh wait, there's probably something here. Nope. I'll just keep on, maybe it'll, maybe it'll, you know, go away if I just continue walking towards it. Stupid mistake. Nothing at all on this floor. No uh, negative or positive effects. Not sure what the boss is here. get it far enough over here to kill anything that might be here. That's in a dead end room anyway, so... <clears throat> that was really easy though, jeez. How did I lose the first time? Because <laughs> I didn't realize that the things damaged you only one way, that's why. So I didn't uh, spend as much time attacking her much time evading, which led to more damage and less healing items, uh, caused me to die, I guess. That's alright though, I lost, uh, just lost the plaid scarf. Picked up a better one anyway, so. I think we have no more space. I'll probably need to heal a little bit anyway, so... Let's find our healing items and eat them. Except for the durian fruit, because those are too valuable. There's like eight, yeah, 8,000 each, so... Actually, we need to go straight down from this room over here. Oh, crap. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, nice. Thank you very much for dropping so early. At least it's not a ice trap. Another treasure. Blue teacup. I don't know where this guy shows up just magically. Oh, 
Oh, level 82. Ah, great. My nemesis. Oh, there's the teleport. Alright, let's see what's down here. We've got one area to still check, and it's right by here, so I might as well do it. What you might find in these last ditch areas. Probably won't be another chest down here, though. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, crap. I am lucky as heck that that didn't, uh, Oh, there's one. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. Ah, uh, it's a magical hat. Grab that gunpowder, and we're on to the next floor. No, no effects here either. Interesting. Now we're down to one slot left. I didn't know I picked that up. Weird. Um, let's see. Evil Claw, we can throw that away. Not sure why I picked that up. Shell Charm, that's 33k, okay, that's, that's worth something. I picked up another one, damn, picked up two of them. Jesus, that's such a durian for dropping. It's crazy. I've got like three or four of them in my inventory at 8k a pop. Somehow he managed to dodge all the rocks falling on top of him. There's another one, isn't there? Weird. Oh wow, armadillo armor. I actually need that for a fusion item. A uh, fusion recipe. Oh, we're out of room again. Um, Alright, let's throw away the fur balls. And uh, let's also throw away broken seal. 
I'll keep the rest of it though. Oh, nice. That was a very good decision. Another soul ring. And I got three of them. So that's 600. That's, that's over a half mil picks right there. And soul rings. When they're regular priced, not even when they're high priced. Can't even imagine what they'll sell for high priced. There's a third one. Those bee guys are so hard to see sometimes. Especially the smaller ones, the yellow yellow ones, the original ones, because they're a lot smaller than the other ones. Especially when there's like tons of stuff going on on the screen. They just kind of slip around unnoticed. That's almost a coup right there. Is that the same one? Same trap? Must have been because it didn't change anything. So I finally managed to figure out what the hell is causing my problems with um, Aspect Andromeda. It's um, the dual cards. For whatever reason, um, Crossfire just totally causes it to freak out. And so far, none of the, uh, even with the latest drivers, drivers from, of course I have uh, 290Xs, so um, AMD's famously stopped actually, I think, making drivers for them now. Or at least they're not making them quite as often. Um, I do know that for Vega, there's no Windows 8 uh, drivers at all anyway, which is kind of stupid. Um, though, I mean, technically I'm one of the few people that's using 8. Most people are sticking with 7 or have moved on to 10. Um, I'm using 8 just because I'm using 8. Uh, I had planned to use 8 to get to get 10 for free, and then I realized, then I, I found out that in order to do that, you had to sell your soul to Microsoft, so... Not going to take advantage of that. And let uh, Microsoft use my computer as a uh, data mine. Uh, let's just go to the next floor. Well, I should say let's go to the boss floor, because that's what it is. It's the boss floor. Can't carry anything else, and if I find something else, it'll just be an uh, exercise in inventory juggling, so... It's just put an end to it and go to the next area here. Really? The gauntlet. It's another gauntlet here. Yeah. 
Holy crap, what the hell, man? Oh my god, it's actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, well, we got some. These guys will heal my SP. I have never eaten a durian fruit before. Yes. Oh, wow. That's probably why. So it actually takes out your S. Really? Damn, you can't get close to these guys. Not taking damage. I got one of them. But damn, they do so much damage to you. SP now. Holy crap. Oh, I don't like this at frickin' all. Well, I can deal with not having any SP. Problem is we can't have not we can't have not enough. We can't have not enough HP, that's the problem. <laughs> Every time they kill these guys, they just um, respawn, so it's like not even very useful to kill them. Holy crap, but you have to kill someone, otherwise you get like ganged up on like that. Crap, this, that friggin' that attack is like... Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. That was a hard boss, harder than I thought it was going to be. Hell yes, they're returning. Probably been even worse if I didn't have the frickin' jade shield on, actually, to be honest. So, anything new? Metals increased. Precious metals. Metal items has increased. Long swords decreased. Not really. Twisted blade. Plus nine. Eighty thousand. Rather wait for Charm to come in and ask for a weapon to give that to her. I do have six of those, wow. I thought it was a plus six for a second. Not everything filled. Yep. Alright. Open the store. Showcase Platinum Halberd, so 255. But it's also a showcase item, so you could probably go a little bit higher. Selling high demand housewife. Oh, 240. Wow. So I actually went 15 over with that halberd. Holy crap. These guys are the 255. Steel claw. Oh, 
It's also a uh, showcase, so I'll go a little bit over. Just bonus. No more stuff for you, Caillou. So what do we got? Uh, reading is reaching an all-time high. Young women. Machine claw. Let's see. Did it do attack? That might be better than... So what I'm thinking is if we put a bunch of books out, we're gonna bring in a whole bunch of people. Oh wow, we don't have we don't have that many books, do we? Jump out real quick and go buy some books. I'm gonna try and stick to the slightly cheaper end of the spectrum here. Vacation of Elden. Elden Reborn. End of Elden. for buying all this is because we're going to try and get a whole ton of people in here. So the way to do that is to just stuff books everywhere. I'll try and uh, keep the more valuable books. For later when uh that should be fine let's see if that triggers anything there we go got it Just bon just bonus combo. Cool. <laughs> Another just bonus. Almost a thirty nine. 